And now, presented for your consideration, the trans community finding out that the Hogwarts Legacy boycott failed. What? What do you... What do you mean? No. No, we said no. No, and why are you... They said they wouldn't make article. They said they weren't gonna play the game! Get, the, get, get their stream! Get that stream name! Get the, all of their streamer names! Get them! Write, the, write their names down! You're giving... You're, you are giving J.K. Rowling money! You're giving her money! She's a bigot! She's a bigot! Oh, J.K. Rowling! J.K. Rowling! This hurts me! I'm hurting! On the third day of the Battle of Hogwarts Legacy, the trans community suffer considerable casualties, worst of all, coming exclusively from self-inflicted wounds. After having made a sweet, defenseless, emotionally vulnerable woman cry, trans activists posing as games journalists were quick to dismiss because as far as they're concerned, it's only a cisgender white woman. My God. With concentration like that, I'm certain Stacy Henley would love to work at a camp for people that aren't the types that matter to him, her, Z, Zay, or whatever they identify as with respect to their pronouns. But what a habitually hypocritical slippery slope you activists plant yourselves on. Hello, beta testers. If you're a fan like I am, you probably remember people hanging out of windows, driving by bookstores, uh, yelling spoilers for Harry Potter. Remember Barnes and Noble? Remember Circuit City? You know, 20 years is such a long time, it's honestly hilarious to watch these silly little kids jump up and do what televangelists were doing back in the day. Imagine kid diddlers being so triggered at the idea of something getting more attention than them that they would literally, literally bring back a good old book burning. And now the trans people are the ones that are bullying people, genuinely going out there trying to spoil something just to ruin it. And I would like to once again remind everybody, this game's not even officially out yet. The only people who are in this pool are people who needed to be part of this conversation, paid extra for the exclusive early access, you know what I mean? Which on any other freaking game, we would honestly dismiss as disgusting and absolutely anti-consumer. And if somebody made that case, we wouldn't even disagree with it because we're logical people who can see uh, multiple sides, not just the absolute and only side, you know what I mean? Like some people, right? Like Stacy Henley out here, literally dismissing people because because of their race and identity. It's just as phobic and ist when you do it, okay? It's crazy because a trans character was included in Hogwarts Legacy. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> you can't see the face at all. Welcome. A character that goes by Serona, in my opinion, awesome. They save you during a tricky situation. The inclusion is not forced. It's not preachy. It's not filled with clunky, inorganic trash for dialogue that we've come to expect in other AAA games that weirdo activists praise despite their low, low quality and deliberate choices to ugly up characters in the interest of modern gaming, mainly so that the insecure, miserable, and lonely people working behind the scenes don't have to feel inferior when they look at attractive women exclusively. It's always the women getting the downgrades. But these people in their hyper-specific circles and echo chambers, avoiding with blinders anything trending on TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, because I'm sure they're still on it, Instagram, unless it's something they straight up just want to collectively try to ruin for every other person that doesn't assimilate to their hive mind. 
I love shit like this because this multicultural college brochure misrepresentation, uh, a transgender Deborah Wilson, uh, a, an Asian guy, uh, a, a big woman, right? It's just as disingenuous and hollow as a Disney movie, including Asian characters. But then they remove black people from promotional material. And even when it's customizable characters, we can't be too fat or too curvy or even light skinned. Look, these people are kissing. Doesn't that apply to you? Buy it, stupid. You know what I mean? You know what appeals to us? Uh, quality. That's why Hogwarts Legacy is doing really well. And nothing that the trans community says is going to stop that. They can spoil the game all they want, you know. It's it's a sad shame. But y'all getting mad over a woman's name. We respect and accept her as what she wants to identify as. But if, if it weren't for them calling attention to the fact that the first three letters in that name are Sir, you can call her Sir for short. Think, like, how hilarious does that sound? How miserable are trans people that they can't have a laugh at something? You gotta be able to laugh. Not only when the right people say it, if it's funny, it's funny. If it's not intentionally harmful, it's not intentionally harmful. This is the kind of, ha like, a drag queen would find this shit hilarious and probably steal that. Sir, you can call her sir for short, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you are a bad human being if you buy a video game, sending money directly to a woman who is gleefully stated publicly here on Twitter. <laughs> then any time that you spend money on sure she is using it to hurt people, you are voting with your wallet. You are saying bigotry is good. Wow, that's crazy. Here's paradoxically what they said in the past. Nobody is saying you're a bad person for liking media created by bad people or characters who did bad things. You're a bad person if you adopt those perspectives. Hmm. You know what I mean when I keep saying it's like this train goes backwards. Trends, 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 trends. After mentioning that they've lost 15 followers because they're tracking that, and this is the kind of irrelevant and sad, like pathetic shit that matters to these fucking losers. Not saying that this guy's a loser, just saying that this is like how a loser would act. He writes, I am fully capable of understanding that somebody is a bad person. It's okay to consume, even value, problematic media. That's crazy. Because what you was just saying was that you're a bad human being if you buy this thing. As if there's any media in the world that sick degenerates weren't working on, funding, or a specific part of. To be frank, the, the worse the people working on things sometimes, the better the final product can end up being. And maybe that's when you get the best results. When you pick people who are best for the role or the job, you know? Maybe, maybe the person who scores the most on that test as opposed to just ticking boxes, you know? Oh, that's the right ethnicity right there. Is that why all your media is so fucking bad? Is because you're trying to make sure that everybody sucks, you know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, good job, man. You guys have really, you've nailed it. You, you really did make sure everyone sucks. We spend so much time absolutely enveloped in the horrors of existence. The kind of shocking, grim shit that losers around us were they to be subject witness to it. They'd be carted off in an ambulance and get mad sick time because, oh, it's, it's literal shock is what they call it. But y'all be sitting at home talking about, that's that fun. Uh, and you're ruining our entertainment, the things that we need to take the edge off. You know what I'm saying? You don't want the alternative. Do you you couldn't imagine what if we had you as the reason that we can't get our rocks off. Like you like you pass some kind of prohibition thing. How long you think you got? And it's such a weird hill to die on. Y'all don't have any like older trans people. Maybe they used to be gay, maybe used to be black, you know, now they identify as a dolphin. The, at least they would have gone through some real struggle as opposed to this, you know, I'm behind a keyboard and this person wouldn't call me the thing that I was looking to be called. Look at the footage. I'm drinking a transgender potion. Well, I'm trying to be trans rich. And the only way that that's going to happen is if you find the links to donate, send me things on the wish list. And if you don't, you're a bigot. 
See how dumb that sounds? But do it because it's true. I think back to when Chappelle was, I guess, pissing everybody off and they had some kind of protest at Netflix. A guy had a sign. The transgender people attacked the guy with the sign and then started shrieking, he's got a weapon. That's what y'all are like. And if you have too many events that are kind of black and white like that, it will invalidate you. It will eradicate your cause. Do you get what I'm saying? I realize organically it's like I'm trying to reason with somebody within the trans community to speak some some sense into these kids. I know what it's like to be passionate. You know what I mean? But we can't be Black Panthers about everything. We got to be diplomatic, even though, you know, in the end, <laughs> if you're really if you're really good at what you do, they'll silence you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Take it from Captain Shadow Band channel on YouTube. Woo. I'm sorry, man. This video has gone on long enough. And again, I didn't get to any of my sexy clips next time, man. You know, love you.